the other night on the show, you were doing a, a promotion for the uh, Cancer Society. Mm -hmm. um, not to bring anybody down, it's just something I think we ought to be aware of, particularly considering that it does touch each of us. We had a good friend on the show, Selma Diamond, who we've lost, unfortunately. Um, she was great. I mean, she wouldn't understand any of this stuff that you're watching tonight, I'll tell you. She would just kind of look at it and go, that's pretty stupid. <laughs> that's not funny. Um, <laughs> you know, where's Eddie Cantor when you need him, you know what I mean? <laughs> that's good, that's good. She was wonderful. She was yeah. the best historian of television comedy I'd ever met. Really? You know, talking about the days of... Uh, she wrote Topo Gigio. I don't know how many people know that. She was the lady who wrote... Kiss me, Eddie. You know that stuff? Oh, she worked for Ed Sullivan for years. and worked. She was the first woman to break the barrier. The first woman to get into those those hallowed halls of people like Goodman Ace and Mel Brooks and all the great television writers of the day in the 50s. Um, the first lady to be there not schlepping coffee but writing jokes. You know, she was wonderful. Uh, she smoked too much. And she mm -hmm. knew that. She knew that. I think that um, the greatest tribute not to be uh, modeling here but to, to Selma that the cast could have given her was when she died, the day she died, Harry, John, Jeff Melman, the director, all quit smoking and haven't smoked since, right? Yeah, it's cigarette. true. I, I mean, <laughs> I quit smoking cigarettes the day she died. I occasionally. I know. You occasionally, occasionally have a cigar, and yes. I don't approve, but if you don't inhale it, I guess uh, we won't endorse that here. But don't anyway. Smoke, I mean, yeah, don't, just don't. Just wait. This isn't a non smoking. No, it's not. <laughs> Selma Diamond was one of the three of the five funniest women I'd ever known. She was a cantankerous, um, kind of Bechtian character that walked through life wondering. We sat at a photo session one day, the cast, for TV Guide and we were supposed to be joyous and free, etc. And she looked at the cameraman after him telling us what kind of attitudes we were supposed to be having as far as angles of that. And she looked at the lens and she said, uh, excuse me, is this supposed to be happy or real? <laughs> that was funny.